King James News is sponsored this morning by Dr. Martha A. Flowers, family practitioner. For appointments, phone Dr. Flowers at 870-534-5523. Good morning and welcome to another edition of St. James News. On behalf of the entire St. James family and our pastor, the Reverend Henry Hank Wilkins IV, to our visitors, we welcome you. And we're so happy that you decided to worship with us this morning. And now the news. The pastor has issued us a tithing challenge, and for that, we turn to Scripture. The Scripture says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Malachi 3 and 10. The monthly book club meeting takes place today at 3 o'clock at the home of Dr. Patricia McGraw. If you need directions, you can phone her at 501-227-7458 or you can see Sister Tracy Gregg after service today. The annual Easter program will be held on Sunday, March 31st at 9 a.m. We wish to have all children involved. Please see Sister Megan Collins to receive speeches and for further information. We offer our love and concern to our families that are grieving the loss of a loved one, as well as those who are hospitalized, homebound, or recovering at home. You may have noticed that there are prayer cards in the pew backs. If you have prayer concerns, fill out the card with contact information, including cell phone numbers. Place a prayer card in the offering basket, and the finance officers will make sure that Pastor Wilkins receives him. What you thought you knew about St. Patrick's Day, you may not know. This is Brian Donald with another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that the original color for St. Patrick's Day was actually blue? Yep, it was blue, but early in the 19th century, the color was changed to green. Did you know the very first St. Patrick's Day parade was not in Ireland? The fact is, the first one took place in Boston, way back in 1737. Did you know that St. Patrick was not Irish? In fact, St. Patrick was actually a British subject and a descendant of a Celtic family. Did you know that on St. Patrick's Day, The rivers in Chicago are dyed green. Just so you know, the dye is not harmful to the water. Since today is Sunday, we should tell you that many bars in the United States sell green beer to celebrate this day. But since we're all churchgoers, we shouldn't have to worry about that. For did you know, I am Brian Dollar. Please note that Children's Church is being offered during morning worship service. We invite all children ages 3 through 7 to participate. Children's Church is held in the multi-purpose room following the recognition of visitors. For more information, see Sister Teresa Mocha. Sign-up sheets are available at the door. And speaking of doors, at 10.30 a.m., you may enter through the front door of the church because the rear doors of the church now will be locked at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. We appreciate your cooperation in this effort to enhance security for the St. James Children's Church. Adult Bible study this week will take place on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Currently, we're studying the book of Numbers. For more information, see Reverend Leon Jones, Brother Jack Gilbert, or Brother Bobby Smith for more details. Attention members, please note the upcoming church trip to Dallas on the third Sunday of April. Pastor Wilkins, the choir, Ushers and members of St. James have been invited to come and help the New Transforming Life Christian Fellowship Congregation in Dallas, Texas to celebrate their first congregational anniversary. If you are interested in traveling with the church, please be sure to sign up so that we can start making travel and lodging arrangements. Also this week, Wednesday now that is, at 5.15 p.m., Youth Bible Study will take place at the Wesley Campus Ministry. For more information on that, you can see Brother Hank Five, Brother Tony Anderson, or Minister Peyton Parker. Congratulations to Minister Peyton Parker on delivering his first sermon last Sunday. By most accounts, Minister Parker did a very fine job. And now we resume our feature on why I like St. James. I like St. James because I love the people here. They are loving and caring, and I love coming here with my family. All parents of teens and all teens are asked to meet in the pastor's office following morning worship service today. 
Pastor Wilkins says a meeting will be very brief. The men of St. James are scheduled to meet on Tuesday, March 26 at 7 p.m. immediately following Bible study. The men are also planning to have a men's breakfast and roundtable discussion on Saturday, April 6 at 8 a.m. at the Wesley Foundation. For more information, you can see Brother Randy Compton, the chairman of the men's ministry. That is all we have for now here on this edition of St. James News. And as always, we welcome you with open hearts, open minds, and open doors. Now, would you please join me as we welcome our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Henry Hank Wilkins IV.